friends, Tiffany here. Welcome to My Quilting Life. So today I am here making a quick video, or maybe it's not quick. Um, people always wonder how I efficiently get things done so fast. And I actually kind of want to show you because it's hard to explain. Um, it's kind of like, you know, an assembly line kind of thing that I do with myself in here with all my parts and pieces to get things done. So I'm going to show you how I take all of these right there. So there's 16 piles of three. It doesn't look like it because they're sitting on the ironing board, but there's 16 piles of three there. How I turn those into a finished stack. Obviously, this is totally not the finished stack, but I'm just going to show you how I turn all that into a nice big stack. And I do my best this way I do things not to get anything out of order. So I'm going to kind of make this a mix of uh, fast forward and not fast forward so that you can see how it works. And I may cut things out of it, but we'll see. So how am I going to turn all of these stacks into these blocks and not mess anything up and not get anything out of order? So let's go ahead and see. Okay, so I'm going to start by taking one stack of three. And a lot of people don't do this, but I save the cardboard from layer cakes, and there's a reason why I do. We're going to set that aside for now so that I can show you, but the cardboard will come into play momentarily. So all I do is make sure that all of my pieces are nicely stacked on top of each other. And let me see. I've got to change it around to see if they're... Sometimes when layer cakes are cut, some of the points are different. So I'm going to change things around, lay it up here. I'm not going to be too fussy, but I'm going to attempt to make it as flat and square as possible. This is from my most recent video, so I'm just going to be cutting, and I'm not really going to tell you measurements in this video. I'm just going to cut and sew, but here we go. So I make all of my cuts like this. Okay, so once I have all of my pieces cut, I'm going to put them in the order that they need to go. So I put the top one on the bottom in this case of this actual quilt, and then I'm going to take the bottom one and put it on the top. And I'm going to try not to make these too messy because I need to be able to stack them all nicely. So I'm going to attempt to keep them sort of stacked up, but if they get a little wonky, that is fine. So again, I'm just getting them in the order that I need them to be for the way I do this. And I do this every time I make quilts, especially if I have a ton of blocks to make that are exactly the same the whole time. So now this is where my board comes back into play. I go ahead and I take these pieces, make sure that you can even see this in the camera, and I put them back on the board exactly the way I have cut them, just like this. And they're all in the order I need them to stay, just like this. 
And then I set this aside and I try not to knock anything off of it. And then I grab the next set of three or whatever my, you know, whatever my way of making this is, whatever order I have or so on and so forth. I just stack them back up and then I will cut them again. And when I get to that next step, I'll show you what I do. So I'm just going to put you in fast forward. So now that I have all of those pieces cut, as you just saw, but super fast. Um, no, I'm not super fast. It did take me a few minutes. Minutes. I, I mean, it took, you know, half an hour-ish or so. But anyway, <laughs> I know I probably, like, kill you guys with all this uh, going so fast thing. It's all stacked here now on... So I can pick them all up and move them if I need to. There's This is the board that the layer cake comes on. And I'm just going to leave them on here. But what I'm going to do, so this is how I, I figure it being like uh, a chain style or uh, assembly line or, you know, just continuously doing something. I'm going to take this whole entire center out of here. They're already in the order I want them. And I'm going to place that over there. You can't really see it off the screen. And then I'm going to take this bottom section. Again, I'm going to place them over there. And then camera's moving. Once we're over here, what I'm going to do, and I'm going to sew just a couple so you can see, but 90% of this is going to get thrown in fast forward because this is going to take a little while. I mean, there's um, there were 16 sets of three. Whatever that math is, I don't know because I suck at math. Anyway, I just know how to sew. <laughs> We're going to take all of my pieces now. And I know that they go on the bottom because I grabbed them from the bottom. And I can also look at my pile where it's missing from. So these, I'm just literally from the top. And from the top, I'm just going to set everything up the way, of obviously the way I showed everybody earlier in the last video for this specific quilt. But um, I'm literally just going to run everything in order through here. I am not going to break thread this whole entire time. I'm just going to continuously run every single one of these through here. Oops. Over and over until my whole stack is at the bottom. So while I'm continuing on with all of these, I will come back when I get to the bottom and show you how I keep it all in order. Okay, so now that I have sewn all these pieces, what I'm going to do is I'm go never going to get these out of order. I'm going to start from that bottom. This was my bottom piece, which was my last piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip these apart and stack them in the order of which I sewed them, just like this. So I'm just going to keep stacking, and I'll throw this in fast forward for a moment. So now once they are all snipped apart, this is the top. This was my starter piece. So if I was to have put this back into its spot, you would see that it's exactly the same. They are in order. Now, 
when I do this method, when I just do like three blocks at a time, I'll finger press and then put them all together and don't worry about it. But from here, we're actually going to take this to the iron and I'm going to press all of these back. But again, I'm not going to get them out of order. So let's go to the iron so I can show you how I do that. Okay, so this is exactly how I just sewed them. That was the first piece and that is the last piece. What I'm going to do is flip these upside down and I'm going to start with my last piece. So I'm going to take my last piece and I just press it back like this and then I grab that next one and press it back like this. Grab the next one press it back, and then stack them out of the way, not moving anything. Grab the next one, next one, next one, move them. They're still in order. Okay, nothing is out of order. That was my top piece. This is where they go. I'm not going to try to shove them in there because I don't want to mess everything up. But this is where they go. The next step is to take the next pieces and sew them. Now they're already going to be in order. So I'm just going to stick this whole thing over at the sewing machine. Camera is moving. We're at the sewing machine. You can see they're just going to go like this. So I'm going to start attaching these in that same manner, one after the other, one after the other, over and over until they are all attached. Okay, so I'm just going to sew them through just like this, over and over until they are all sewn on. Keeping everything in order all over again, because this is how I efficiently do things. This is my chain piecing. Chain sewing, chain pressing, chain trimming method. So let's put you in fast forward. Okay, all pressed. This is the way they would go. As you can see, the colors are in the correct spots, just like that. Nothing has been moved. They are in the correct order. But before I sew on the next piece, I do need to trim all these. So this is where my chain cutting comes in. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to flip these upside down again. So I'm going to start with my bottom piece, moving it out of the way, just like that. Camera's moving. And I'm going to go ahead and flip it right side, just like this. And I'm going to do all of my trimming. So I'm going to line everything up way I need to. And the blade is going dull, but that's okay. I'm going to get what I can done. Just like this. And then I know that this is the top for the bottom. I'm going to flip it around and stick it in the hole. So again, I'm just going to do this and trim it and trim it and blah, blah, blah. You kind of get the drill here now. Flip it around stick it in so I will not get any of this out of order again. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this in fast forward because obviously this is going to take me a few minutes to trim both sides all the way around and stick them back in their spots. <laughs> So now you can see I have the whole entire first two pieces connected to my center. So now all I need to do is take these and put them on here in order. Then do the same thing with the ironing. I'm going to go flip everything upside down once all these are sewn on. So that way when I iron it, I'm ironing from the bottom up and then 
flipping them over as I'm stacking them, ending with this at the top again. Same thing with adding this side and so on and so forth. So now that you know how I do this, I'm going to go ahead and just keep this as a time lapse the rest of the way. I'm going to attach these and do the ironing and then the trimming or then attach these, then do the ironing and trimming and then attach these do the ironing and trimming, then attach these and do the ironing. And then I have to trim all the blocks. And then I will be able to show you guys all. That is my scraps from just round one. Um, you can see that is my scraps so far. <laughs> there is a lot, but it, it, I mean, it's not horrible. It's not horrible. Anyway, so let's continue on with the efficiently putting this together. So I'm just going to go ahead and put you in fast forward from here on out.
right, so it's now the 26th Tuesday. It's morning time. I forgot what time. Like, literally. Let me look. It's 9.53 in the morning. Um, I finished all the blocks. I made only 48 in this video because I had made a couple, you know, between um, whatever last night. So I filmed a little bit last night and the rest this morning since 8 a.m. And now I have 63 total complete blocks. Let's turn this around so that you can see. There's all 63 of my blocks. All right there. And I laid them all out. This right here is the um, smaller scrap pieces, medium scrap pieces, the trimmings, and the larger scrap pieces, which you saw me cut off in the end because I, I kind of wanted to save those for something. But here is all the wonderful blocks that I have put together. They are seven and three quarter inch unfinished. Um, some of these came out so super neat. Um, they just, I don't know, they're, they're really cool. Although it's such a big print that was used to make these. I mean, look at this guy. He's just hanging out right there in the corner. Um, the big print fabric I wouldn't do again. This would be awesome in some um, super bright batiks with a black accent color. Um, I think that would be very, very cool. But there it is. That is how I efficiently make everything. Um, I seriously, uh, what is the word for it? I, I think this way, the method that I use with the chain piecing, chain sewing, chain ironing, so on and so forth, as if I was my own um, shop, like, what, I forgot the word already again, but where, you know, you just go over and over and over again. Um, I really, really think that that method, assembly line, there's the word for it. You guys know I struggle with words. Um, the assembly line method really helps, even if it's just myself, you know? So if it's just you, and you don't have a grandkid or a husband or a friend or whatever pressing and stuff for you. I think that just doing it this way in a row like this would help get it um, done faster. Um, and then anybody can sew as fast as I do. You know what I mean? So there we have it. There are all my blocks. Again, you saw my scraps. The next thing is for me to come on a video and um, finish it by putting this thing together. And yes, I'm sorting through them so that you guys can see them while I'm doing the end of this video. So yeah, um, you can definitely, definitely uh, do all this on your own. And also, I will be coming back live to start putting this together, but I'm going to try to get this video up first. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like my video, subscribe down there, right down there. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.